That's crazy. That's how hard he hit me. He destroyed my or how hard he hit the car. I was not in the car, but that's how hard he hit the car. Just a better, closer look for you guys. This thing's cooked. Story time. So before I show you guys the unfortunate event that happened to my poor little Camaro that I only owned for about three months, let me give you guys a backstory. So, and for those of you guys who are automatically gonna assume, oh, he wrecked it. He did some stupid shit. He was doing donuts. Uh, he's fucking burning out, doing some dumb shit. No, not like the rest of y'all. I actually know how to take care of my shit. This isn't shade for any of you guys. It's just some of the comments that I saw when I first got the Camaro. A lot of you guys assumed that I was gonna wreck it because I don't know how to drive. I don't know how to drive my shit. But anyways, that's besides the fact. Just know I didn't wreck it. I actually wasn't even in the car. Um, and I can't really give too much more on what exactly is happening because I don't know what's happening. Yesterday, Wednesday, May 20th, some guy decided it was a good idea to just buy some bumper cars with my poor Camaro. Actually, at my girlfriend's house. Um, I was actually literally right about to leave, which I'm really glad I did it because what happened could have been way worse. Um, I was actually leaving my girlfriend's house. Um, I was walking out the door of out her door. She was in her living room because her mom called her and my girlfriend ran back towards into the hallway where I was walking out and she told me that my car got hit. And at the moment, like, I was kind of like, whatever, like, I didn't think much of it. I was like, maybe, like, a scratch, a scuff, something, like, nothing crazy. Um, but when I walked out, I saw the other guy's car was, like, destroyed, like, fender, hood, um, door, airbags all went off. Like, it was, it didn't look bad, but it was pretty bad. Um, and I hadn't even seen my car, because, um... It was on the driver's side and obviously like I saw the passenger side first so when I saw the passenger side I was like oh it looks perfectly fine it's like where I parked it and when I went around the corner that's when I saw that it was not fine it was actually really messed up and I'm gonna show you guys videos after I'm just kind of want to like give you guys a backstory of what happened before I show you guys and then we'll come back to it so yeah basically after um, I saw what happened I kind of not freaked out, but got kind of mad. And the guy got really defensive. He was telling me that I shouldn't have parked in the middle of the street, which I was nowhere near. And um, immediately, my girlfriend started calling 911. I called my parents, because honestly, in that situation, I don't know what to do. Like, I am a really, like, short-tempered person. So, like, um, when the guy came at me and was, like, yelling at me, like, I got really frustrated and, like, was really mad. So, um, I just called my parents, because they know how to handle it. Um, I wasn't too worried about it. It has gap insurance. It has everything so I'm not too worried about it um I wasn't too worried about it I was just kind of frustrated um and then after I kind of just took it as a, like not a joke but like better than me being in the car like I'm fine the guy was fine his dad was fine because his dad was in the car um so everybody was fine and that's all that matters you know cars can be replaced um obviously that guy was probably just like in shock so that's why he was mad and I mean he got an airbag to the face and he was probably mad or like frustrated too so i understand where why he would try to come at me and try to blame me also he didn't have insurance so that's probably why also he got defensive and also um i did smell alcohol in his breath um i stayed quiet the cop did what he had to do the cops showed up like 20 minutes after my parents showed up we're all just waiting there for the cops um my uncle came through he held uh get a tow truck out there so they could tow it. I don't even know where it's at right now. Um, they said they could bring it home but I'd rather them just handle that shit. Um, and not have it home because anyways what am I going to do to it besides look at it. So I don't know what exactly more I could say. Um, we're just going to wait to see if it's totaled, if it's salvageable. Um, if it's totaled then obviously we just move on get another car. Um, if it's not and it's savable then I don't know I guess we're gonna have to just wait and see um wait until it comes back to me and like I don't know how long that would be it's probably like a month two months um but yeah kind of just sucks because I literally have owned the car for three months I'm just super glad that um 
literally like a week ago, um, I got a flat tire on my way to LA on the Rohanas. So I took them off and put all my stock ones back on and he destroyed the stock wheel and they didn't destroy the Rohana, so I'm kind of happy for that. So at least if I do end up getting another brand car, um, if it's totaled, then I could sell those wheels and get money for it and buy new wheels for the next car. Um, do have a few cars in mind, but I'm not gonna say anything too much until we find out what exactly is gonna happen. Back to why I'm happy that I didn't leave. Literally, if I had left two minutes earlier or if he would have hit my car two minutes earlier, I probably would have got killed. Um, I would have been at the door getting in or had just got in or walking towards getting in the car So I'm really glad that everything played out how it did. No one was hurt. Everybody was fine. I mean Things happen accidents happen could have been a lot worse. And you just gotta be happy that you're okay um, I do seem like I'm fine with it. And I mean I am fine with it cars are replaceable um, Get a new one get it fixed whatever whatever needs to be done will be done it has full insurance, um, the guy has to figure out his shit, I had my, all my stuff together, so, um, I'm gonna show you guys what happened now, what I recorded, it was on my phone, obviously, I was not ready for that to happen, so I was not vlogging, so, um, just insert the footage I got, uh, I got some sides, some left, I just started vlogging, so, um, that's my initial reaction, that was literally, like, probably five, ten minutes, um, Probably after I spoke to the cop, I started vlogging. So, my girlfriend kind of lives on a busy street. And it was parked outside. It was parked outside. Um, her house. And I was literally about to go leave to go home. Because I have work tomorrow morning at 3. And as I was leaving, her mom came in, panicked. Saying that they hit my car. And I came out. And I'll show you guys the damage once these cars leave. It's a pretty bad hit, and I'm pretty sure it's totaled. Um, it's pretty bad. Cops are here. I think the guy was drunk and hit it. From what it looks like, he tried to run, but his car wouldn't keep driving. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty sure it's totaled. Maybe we'll get a Corvette. Maybe we'll get a CL1. Make some more horsepower. Kind of sucks because the last video was literally talking about what we were gonna do and i was literally walking out of her room when i was leaving so kind of sucks the guy tried to cash me out three thousand dollars but i'll show you guys the damage it's i don't think it's savable my car's finito done. i was gonna go behind the toilet but that probably wouldn't be the smartest move she's done she's finito I did. Yeah, it's just all receipts. My mess. She's finito. You don't need nothing else. It's just receipts from like Jack in the Box and stuff. Huh? Oh no, I got it out already. Pretty sure this is totaled. You guys could see the wheel's not even intact anymore. This whole quarter panels done all the suspension pieces are ripped up four boys she's totaled shit happens for any of you guys who are gonna ask i'm fine thank you in advance um i wasn't in the car when it happened it was parked and she got hit so it's fine we'll be back better boys she kind of sucks she's the knee toad just sucks i lose my suspension and my lug nuts i just bought oh well at least i didn't have the rohanas on and now we're back so as you guys just saw it's pretty bad it looked like the control arm was messed up the whole quarter panel destroyed the door wasn't closing right the trunk wasn't aligned the tail light was messed up the rim was obviously destroyed um it seems to me like the whole suspension on that side is messed up and i do understand that they have cradles but um also with the door jam like that's kind of something structural and i did see some silver lining on the frame so i believe 
it's cracked. Um, it kind of sucks. Um, I mean, things happen for a reason. I don't know. Maybe it's time to move on to something bigger and better. Even though I only had it for like two or three months. But obviously at this point, there's not much that we can do. Um, and not much that I want to do. I'm just going to let the insurance handle it and handle the other guy. Because obviously he didn't have insurance. So I don't know exactly what's going to happen. Um, I wasn't in the car. So I just have to sit and wait and see what happens. If they fix it, oh well. Or so be it. If they total it, oh well. Move on. Get another car. And build something else. Um, just glad I wasn't hurt. They weren't hurt. Um, his dad wasn't hurt because his dad was a little bit older. So I was kind of concerned about him at first. Um, everybody was hurt. Or everybody was... Nobody was hurt. <laughs> everybody was um, fine in the situation, which was the best case scenario. Um, sometimes being in this situation kind of can bring you down. But you got to just keep your head up. Not Nothing you can do. You just got to be happy that you're healthy. Um, that nobody was killed. Because that could have been worse if I had literally walked out two minutes earlier or he would have hit my car two minutes later because like I said I was literally about to leave so that's the only thing that kind of has my head messed up but um, besides that I'm perfectly fine um, I'll keep you guys updated as um, we start to find out what exactly is going to happen um, throughout the next couple videos and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like. Make sure to subscribe. I have a dope ass video coming out with my girl. Um, probably in like two days. Because obviously now I'm going to post this video first. And um, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.